all right guys welcome back i know it's been a bit since i've done an update but i figure i would uh jump here on the, the brand new gopro see how this goes uh some new videos coming i bought a new tractor it's hiding over there in the corner not sure you can see it got some implements we'll do some videos on that soon in fact one of the first things we're going to do is tear this building down and put in a uh put in a watershed uh with some tanks uh, but i wanted to give an update on the uh <laughs> that's a yingling can doesn't look like it though it's been sun bleached uh, i wanted to give an update on the uh the undercoating um again right this is uncoated nice and rusty this first one here if i'm not mistaken is fluid film and you can see there's a couple rust spots starting to show up next one here is the uh, crc marine undercoating looking pretty good uh starting to see some pretty major rust on the edges there and uh and then again i've talked about this in a previous video but uh the wire rope coatings because of the black color of the coating you can't really see what's going on um which in general you know probably not a significant issue but if you do have some rust issues going on you're not going to be able to see it um and so it might give you a false sense of security you know at least the the fluid film and the crc are clear or semi-clear and you can start to see rust show up and know when it's time to to maybe get under there and recoat um but in general i mean compared to uncoated metal right i mean they all look pretty darn good i mean fluid film's got some spots crc marine starting to show some some wear and uh the wire ropes who knows maybe i'll get some uh maybe i'll get some brake cleaner or something and clean those off after a certain point and figure out exactly what we got there but um for the time being things are going well you know none of these none of the coatings at the moment look bad everything looks fine you know this is quite different than uh the on the ground test i did one of you guys one of the viewers recommended to <clears throat> to hang them up instead of having them laying flat on the ground right and i agree that's a more representative sample of what your undercoating would be it's not exposed to the sun <clears throat> um, this is a north wall so we're facing south right now and in fact the sun is over there somewhere um but you know remember or no don't remember but i'm in texas right i'm i'm around austin outside of austin about an hour we haven't had any rain this year uh, we had a pretty wet spring so these did get some some water on them that's what i'm thinking the actual um fluid film is showing those look like some water some beaded water spots that kind of hung on and, and started getting through the the lanolin base of that um but in general we haven't had a ton of rain uh also other than what would be splashing you know and some some rain coming from the side these aren't really going to get wet um you know they're up under that that eave a little bit uh but we'll keep going on this and i'll keep showing you guys what's happening uh you know quite honestly compared to uncoated none of these look bad um you know i'd be happy with any of them uh undercoating my vehicle now granted in texas we don't have to worry about this <laughs> number one because we don't get rain or uh, we don't get winter weather and therefore very rarely do we see any sort of of um any sort of uh icing put down or you know anti-icing agent put down on the roads in that case it's typically liquid uh salt but they only do it on bridges so your cars don't see it right that's why you see people like erico and watch west work talk about southern vehicles and how they're just perfect to work on because <laughs> we don't have any rust um but there are people down here who do right if you live down by the beach you know if you're on galveston island or or freeport area you know corpus christi and you're on the water you do have that salt spray uh and in that case you have salt all year long so a coating might be worthwhile especially if you're out driving on the beach in freeport or something so anyway we'll keep this going this building's going to get ripped down at some point here before probably before christmas so that will end the test 
uh, at least in this location. If I spin around, there's an old garage here. Now this is the south side of the garage, so not a good side, but I was thinking maybe on the other side of that, I can move them over there and continue the test uh, and see how long it actually takes for these to start showing uh, rust that would be a concern, right? As it stands right now, I don't think there's any rust on here that's concerning. It all looks very surface, uh, surface rust, right? You could probably wipe that off and uh, recoat pretty quick without any concerns. Um, you know, compared to the uncoated, <laughs> that's a pretty stark difference. So, um, and if you and if you're worried about the type of metal, right? Here's the fluid film. You can see a little bit of rust, but I didn't coat the top. That's uncoated, and you can see that was cleaned off. If you go back to the original video, ignoring that spider web there, of course. Same with CRC on the bottom here was coated. So was the middle, but the top is uncoated, and the same applies for the uh, the wire rope coatings there is a section of that that was uncleaned uh or that was cleaned off but uncoated and uh you know we'll see what what those look like I, the only way i think we're gonna be able to see anything there is if i get some brake cleaner and uh and wash those off so we can see the base metal but we'll do that later you know this has been going for i don't know i'll put the amount of time on the screen i don't remember what it is but it's been a while and uh you know not bad not bad 